All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing 5.5 in precalc, and this is the power reducing formula. So um, you're actually going to use the two that I listed here in red a lot in calc. Uh, they can be pretty useful, uh, power reducing for sine and cosine. But to be 100% honest, even though I highlighted them in red bold, I don't actually have them memorized. Um, I always just figure them out from the cosine of 2 theta formula that we memorized in the last video. So I'm actually going to walk you through that before we jump into regular examples. We're going to walk through how we find both of these formulae. And yet again, I'm going to point out that I don't have the tangent one memorized because I know it could just be sine over cosine. And here that's even more obvious because since both denominators are 2, it's literally the sine right? The twos would cancel over the cosine. So you can see that in the formula. Um, so let's go ahead and walk through where these two red formulae come from. And, and they are really useful in calc sometimes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and walk through how, how we find those. So I'm going to solve this for sine squared, right? So this is what I want to solve for. I'm not solving down. I just want to solve down to sine squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtraction and addition, right? So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 1 over. So it's a negative 1 uh, plus that cosine of 2 theta equals a negative 2 sine squared of theta. And then I'm going to do division and multiplication. So I'm going to divide everybody by a negative 2, right? So I'm going to get negative 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all over a negative 2 equals a sine squared of theta. And then if I just factor out a negative, essentially, I can make this a 1 minus cosine 2 theta all over a positive 2. And, and that's the formula, right? So this, this is the power reducing formula. Um, so this is, this is the power reducing formula that was on the last page. Um, I don't have it memorized. I, I, I genuinely just, uh, just do this anytime I need it, which is fairly often, like it does come up that you need it, but I usually just do this. Um, go ahead for P4 and try the same thing, but you're going to solve down to the cosine, right? So I'm going to, uh, start by doing subtraction and addition. So we'll add the one to both sides. So I'm going to get a one plus cosine of two theta equals two cosine squared theta. And then I'm going to do division and multiplication. And sure enough, that's the other power reducing formula. Okay, so, uh, and again, this does actually come up as a skill you need in calculus, like fairly often on a, in a situation where you wouldn't be able to look it up, so it's worth knowing. Uh, but honestly, you don't, uh, at this stage of the game, like it, it's not gonna make a lot of sense to you why you need it, but it's usually for something called integration that we'll get to when we get to calc. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use the power reducing formula to reduce this expression to first powers of cosines with different angles, right? So later in calculus, you're definitely gonna to have to be able to do this to do a thing called integration. You just don't know what that is yet, so for right now, you just gotta trust me. So, um, basically, I know that, remember that I know that sine squared of theta is a one minus cosine of two theta all over two, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this as a sine squared times another sine squared and I'm going to replace both of those sine squareds with this thing. And, and this gets kind of tedious pretty fast, and you'll see uh, it's tedious when you get to it in calc too. I'm going to go ahead and yank out um, the one-halves. So I'm going to pull out a one-half and another one-half, and what I'm going to be left with is uh, one minus cosine two theta times another one minus cosine two theta, and we're going to deal with that in a sec. So I seem to have a one-fourth in front, and then if I foil these guys out, because I am going to have to FOIL them, because I have to get them down to the point where it's all just a sum or difference of, of uh, single powers of cosines. I'm going to get that this is a 1 minus 2 cosine 2 theta plus a cosine squared of 2 theta. Well, I need to reduce this power again. Like, I need, this is still a squared, so I need to reduce this power. So remember that uh, cosine squared of let's just say, I'm gonna say x here to show that it's a different angle, so in this case the two theta is my x, would be one plus cosine of two x over two. So I'm gonna end up with this one fourth chilling in front of everybody. I have a one minus two cosine of two theta. And then in place of this thing, I'm gonna put uh, a plus one plus cosine of double of this, which will be four theta, and all of this is over two, right? That's, that's this pattern. So the way you'll probably see this, right? So if I, if I clean this up a little bit, right? This is uh, a one minus two cosine of two theta uh, plus, you'll probably see this with a, a one, as a one half plus a one half cosine of four theta. Um, most of the time, we, and that's not wrong, you could stop there. Most of the time when you see this, you're gonna see this as uh, these guys would get put together, right? Because that's actually a three halves. So if you were doing this in calculus, which again, you're not in calc yet, but when you get there, there are gonna be times that you have to do this and nobody's gonna ask you to do it. You're just gonna have to figure out that you need to do it. Uh, this would be a three eighths minus a one half, cause the fourth times the two cosine of two theta 
uh, plus a one eighth cosine of four theta. And, and this, right, so, so this, um, this would be something we can integrate. So something we can integrate in calc. And the way it was written originally is something you can't. So even though this looks nicer, uh, you can't really deal with that in calc, but I can deal with this ugly monstrosity at the end. So uh, just to kind of show you that's the idea. This looks nicer, but in actuality it's not nicer uh, in terms of what we would want to be able to do in calculus. So I'm going to let you try one. I'm not going to make you do a ton of this because honestly it's not really an applicable skill until we get to calc when we are going to see that we need to be able to use these formulas. So you're going to try one, the same idea. You're going to try a cosine uh, to the fourth, okay? So just as a reminder, uh, cosine squared theta can be written as one plus two, uh, sorry, plus cosine of two theta all over two. All right, so that's, that's the formula you're gonna need to use over and over again here. So I'm gonna start by recognizing that this is actually a cosine squared times a cosine squared. So I can use this formula twice, right? So I can use one plus cosine of two theta um, over two and a one plus cosine of two theta all over two. Um, I would suggest that you do the thing I did before, which is factor out the one fourth and then FOIL this. You don't have to uh, factor out the one fourth, but I think it makes your life a lot easier, right? So when you do that, you're gonna have this one fourth in front of a one plus two of this thing, uh, plus this thing squared. And then you're gonna need to do another power reducing formula, right? You're gonna use, need to use this here but because this is a two theta, you're gonna get double of that on the inside, which is a four theta. So you're gonna have uh, a one fourth. This will be one plus two cosine of two theta. And then in blue, this is gonna be a one plus cosine of double that angle, which is four theta all over a two. So when I clean it up, uh, one fourth, this will be a one plus two cosine of two theta plus one half plus one half cosine of four theta these two together are a three halves, right? So I get one fourth. This is a three halves plus two cosine of two theta plus one half cosine of four theta. And when I distribute the one fourth, the way that I would wanna see this in a calc situation uh, or the way that you'd actually kind of need it to do what you need to do, uh, it would look something like this. And again, I'm not gonna make you do a ton of it, but eventually it'll be something that we need to be able to do in calc. Uh, and I think that's the end of this video.